Hello my friends. This is the second part to the water delivery system for my aquaponic pro towers. Here is the flooding tank. It's a half barrel. It should hold about 30 gallons. That's where it's cut. Uh, it will hold about 200 pounds. And right here to the right is the flush valve, flush mechanism. And underneath you can see the, the drain. And I see a drip, which we'll have to identify where that's coming from. And that feeds a one and a half inch line. Or at least when it's dripping, it's dripping into the raft bed, so you're not losing any water. Okay, that feeds one and a half inch line, neck down to one inch. The one inch branches off, left and right, and uh, it branches off with the, the one inch that terminates with those T's, which go to a half inch. The half inch lines then feed into the top of these grow towers. I need to do some more connecting and you can see that some of these are just going to drain into nowhere uh, but we're just going to make one test and see how it's going to going to work before I continue the build. Well I'm waiting for the hardware to open again the pipe supply store. I need more T fittings. Well, let's wait to see if what caught me by surprise. I was plugging these and you can see right here it filled up and made the flush. And that one side we're losing a lot of water. There's the drain tube. I'm going to turn off the fill. Well, we're going to lose about 30 gallons. And you can see here, if I put the extensions in, there's no water loss. Actually, the water is hitting the top of the tubes on most of them, just this one end that I didn't get plugged. And that probably wouldn't too, be too bad if I didn't want to get the top of the plants wet, but I found it's better to keep the tops dry. So. Let's see when that, uh, there it goes. It's going to stop. That should have stopped.
Looks like it closed. I'm using the camera to see. I can't get my head up in there. And that should start if it would have been filling if I still had it going. Well, so far it looks good. Okay, I plumbed these five in. I still have to do the other side. I'll just my mason bees. Real little guys. Six minutes and the overflow started. Okay, that needs fixed. What's happening there is uh, when it starts to, to lower, it's creating a siphon. I have a elbow at the top of that pipe, and uh, I need to turn that elbow or take that elbow off, and that should not siphon. These are all running. I hear something overflowing right here. There is root matter plugging the bottom. Okay, it just started uh, bleeding. And let's see, I pulled the elbow off of the top. I'm seeing some movement, it's ready to go. Okay, uh, still a little bit of overflow, not too bad. You can see here where there's no pot, you need to get pots in all of these and that'll help contain all the water in the tube. And it's on about a six minute cycle. There you hear it's just about done, still draining. I can uh, shorten that drain time by increasing the size of that tube. So that's just a matter of fine tuning. Here I drilled a hole in the elbow. I'm going to reinstall this <clears throat> as a overflow. Um, not an overflow, the intake to the uh, overflow. Um, I don't want any floaties that could be in there to go into the pipe. So that's why I want this piece back on. Just to make sure. This set is all plumbed in, and uh, we have this one, we skip one, and then these two are close together, and I can reach the back one from this front. So when these towers are filled, I should be able to walk back between these. These openings here, if they're not going to be used, I'm going to design a cap that will snap across. I'll use one of the six inch pipes and cut it so that it can push over and snap over the individual holes. 
and it would be good to do it individually because uh, if you want to remove a tower and not have sunlight come in and hit that you can just snap a cap over the opening and block any light. Okay, I'm just waiting to see if those holes that I drilled in those elbows will keep that from creating a siphon, siphon and overflowing that uh, uh, weight that I have there. There's the supports I have for the tank. I think that it's pretty substantial. I have the weight coming down onto the frame of the raft bed, which is embedded right into the earth, goes down about six feet. And that cross member, that's a piece of oak, and that's tied into those three vertical posts. I think that should hold 200 pounds. I do intend on increasing the size of that overflow. That if it plugs will be a flaw in the system so I think I'll drill that to about a quarter inch hole let a quarter inch uh, gap flow through there should make it much more reliable that only looks like about an eighth of an inch hole in that tube. The drain uh, plumbing the inch and a quarter and two inch that's in the foreground there um, those are all glued together I did not want any of those to slip joints, but all the other joints in the system are just press fit. That way I can disconnect and rotate and take sections out if I need to. Okay, we just missed the flush, but there was no uh, splashing. Uh, so those holes that I drilled uh, worked, worked fine. There was no siphoning action. It's draining. And as you can see in these empties, it's a waterfall in there. I like the action. Sounds like that's getting near the end of that flush cycle. Here I'm doing a little maintenance to a grow tower. This tower is no longer allowing water to pass through it. Uh, it's mint that's in there and it is like a wild jungle. I'm um, having a little bit of trouble getting rid of that. I'm cutting the stems off and I think uh, after the tower is removed um, I'm just going to let it dry up so I can get to work on getting the roots out of it. Just about done. Well, thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.